Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Do you feel lost? Wonder if you will ever find your way? The good news is that God is not waiting for us to get our act together in order to be accepted by Him. All who are lost can be found. Reading today from Luke chapters 18 through 20, and the verse of the day is Luke 19 verse 10. But the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Do you remember playing hide-and-seek when you were little? You tried to find the best spot and your heart would beat wildly while you waited to see if the person who was it would find you. We weren't truly lost and in many ways did not want to be found, but those who are truly lost can feel like they are marginalized and unseen. In context, Jesus was sharing with Zacchaeus that he could be saved. Zacchaeus had climbed in a tree to see Jesus. His short stature probably caused him to feel unseen by many, but Jesus saw him. The thing is, we have to know we are lost in order to be found. We have to see our need. Zacchaeus recognized his need. Do you? I chose the key word lost, which is the Greek word apolomi. It means to destroy, to put out of the way entirely, abolish, put an end to ruin, render useless, to kill, to lose. We need to understand how desperate our situation is apart from Christ. Not knowing God is not just a simple choice. It is our very life. Being lost means we are headed for destruction. But God, he is really good at finding his children. Thought of the day. You're never too lost for God to find you. Come and be found. Application. Even if you feel that you do not deserve to be found, God's acceptance is not based on your merit. You can never earn his salvation, but you can accept it. When we repent and turn from death and our own way, we find life and we are found. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of Ephesians.